Hi, it's Jeff here from VIP Vision. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to configure pan tilt zoom or PTZ camera presets, tours and patterns via a network video recorder. Now what are presets, tours and patterns? So presets are a location where the pan tilt zoom camera has set in space. So a direction, a zoom level, uh, you can consider them like bookmarks, for instance. Tours are a con combination of presets with a time space in between them. So it'll go to preset one, preset two, preset three, preset four, and then link back to preset one. Patterns are exactly how they sound. So the PTZ camera follows your movements exactly as you recorded them, and then goes back to the start and does your recording movements again. Now, as I mentioned, we're gonna be doing this via a network video recorder. There's actually two different ways to configure these settings from a PTZ camera. The second way is, is configuring it via the web interface of the PTZ camera. Um, that's actually probably a better way of doing it if you can. If you have a laptop on site that you can use to connect to the PTZ via its web interface, so entering its internet, entering its IP address into Internet Explorer um, and going through there into the settings and changing the settings in the, under the PTZ menu, that's probably the best way to do it. It does give you a lot more flexibility. Uh, however, there are obviously certain scenarios where you're not going to be able to do that and this is going to be easier. So I'm going to switch across to a network video recorder now. So you'll see this is a this is a uh, an eight channel network video recorder, but it will work on all VIP Vision series recorders. Everything I do here will apply to pretty much everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click and select PTZ. Now I have a pattern password set up on this recorder. I could use my pattern password. Alternatively, if you don't have a pattern password set up, you can also use your standard username and password. So in my case, admin one two three for my admin password. Now, you need to be sure that whatever, if you've got custom users set up, they do have access to PTZ controls. By default, the admin password does. So, um, the first thing that we've got, you'll see here is we've got our PTZ controls. Now, using these, I can move to the left, I can move to the right, I can zoom in, and I can zoom back out again. Now, focus and iris controls would also work here, but that's all I'm gonna leave there for now. So, if you look to you'll see a little arrow here pointing across. So if I click that, now you'll actually see we have PTZ controls here. Now the first one is preset, the second one tour, and the third one pattern. These are actually to trigger pre-existing things, so things that we've set up before. So if I wanted to trigger preset number one, I would enter one in this box up here and click the preset button. If I wanted to enter tour number one, I would put one in the box here and click the tour button. If I wanted to enter pattern number five, I would click five in the box up here and click pattern. However, we don't have any of that set up yet, so that's what we're going to need to do first. Now to do that, we need to actually use this little icon down the bottom here under PTZ. Uh, it's important to note that we're talking about this icon here and not the one above, the enter menu section. That's only for uh, legacy PTZs. Now we're using a, a, an IP PTZ here, which through which everything's configured either via the web interface or via the PTZ button down here. And the vast majority of PTZs will be this way. So I'm gonna click the icon here. Now you'll see that we've brought up a PTZ menu. Now you'll see preset, tour, pattern, and border. We'll leave border alone in this tutorial. So we're just gonna be looking at preset, tour, and pattern. Now under the preset menu here, you can see I've got a PTZ control. I can move to the right, I can move to the left. Um, you will notice, however, that we do not have uh, zoom or iris controls or focus controls in this section here. So it is somewhat restricted in the way that you can adjust it, but I'll show you how to get around that in a moment. So just to set a basic preset. So if you look across here, you'll see preset and you'll see that we have new settings. So we don't actually have any presets here yet. These, any existing presets would be in this drop down here. So down here I've got number one. So I'm gonna be setting up preset number one. So all we have to do once we've got preset one in here, so number one set in here, is find a location that we're interested in bookmarking. Okay, so we'll consider the preset a bookmark. So I think that I want to set a bookmark around about here. Now, all I have to do to add that into position one is click setup, and you'll see that we now have preset one saved. Now if I move my camera away from that area and I click in this little drop down up here and select preset one, it will bring me back 
to where I had set under preset one. So you know that that worked. Now I'm gonna enter another one now. So I'm gonna to go to new settings and then I'm gonna click two. So now I'm gonna set position number two. Now I think that it would be good for position number two if it was about here. And I click setup. And you'll notice that I've got preset two now saved at the top here. So now I can flip between my presets. So I can go preset one and I can select preset two. Now we can go up and add more and more presets doing it this way. However, as I, as I mentioned, it's a little bit limited in the sense that we can't adjust our um, zoom levels. We can only go, we can only pan and tilt. So what you can do if you'd like to have a zoom level set is we can actually jump out of here by right clicking. So I'm gonna right click once. Now we've got our standard PTZ menu here. So I'm gonna move around. I'm gonna find something that I wasn't able to actually zoom in on before. Now um, I can do it using my standard arrow buttons here and my zoom in and out buttons, but we also have this middle button in here, which you can see uh, in a previous video, described in a previous video, but essentially when I click it, it just lets me draw a box around something I'm interested in. So I'm gonna draw a box around that. And I'll draw another box around that. And now you can see, I'll click a little bit just to zoom it out slightly. Now you'll see we're zoomed in on a sign across the street and we're focused there. So this is probably something that I'm interested in sticking in a preset. So I'm gonna right click. Now you'll see that it's jumped back out of there. So now me clicking on the screen is not gonna do anything, but it's kept our position exactly where we wanna to, want to keep our position. So again, I'm gonna click my little PTZ cog down here. Now I'm gonna select preset three now, and I'm gonna click without clicking any of these buttons here. I'm just gonna click setup and you'll see that preset three is now saved. So now if we jump between presets, you'll see that I'll go back to one, zoomed all the way out, I can go to two, and I can go to three. And we'll zoom back in. Now it's worth noting once you're zoomed in, you can actually move across and maybe move to somewhere else. We can't zoom out though, so just be aware of that. So I'm just gonna move across here and then maybe just zoom in on something, or not zoom, but let it focus somewhere here. Maybe across a little bit and up slightly. Okay, so this is, it's kind of, it's not really flexible doing it this way, but you can move it around is really all I'm trying to say after you've already set it. So make sure you don't save over your existing preset. Okay, we have to click new settings. And then I'm going to click four and set up. Now we have preset four saved. So I could just keep adding these up. I can keep going. I'll do one more just to show you. So I'm going to zoom back out here, doing it the more traditional way. Zoom back out and I'm going to swing around. I'm going to focus on, I'll zoom in on this flower here. Now it's worth noting you can move this out of the way. Oh, where are we going to go? I'm going to go probably, probably here a little bit and I'll just zoom in a touch. And I can, as I said before, I can adjust focus in this mode as well if I want to manually. There we go. Okay, so that's it. Focus. Now I'm gonna set that as another preset. Okay, so I'm gonna to wanna to come down again and make sure it's set to new settings and select five and set up. Okay, so that's how you set up presets. Now we have five presets set there. I'm just gonna show you how you would do it back from that settings menu or from the, from the adjusting menu, the standard, standard menu outside of the settings menu, I should say. So right click. Now, as I mentioned before, these are presets. So I'm gonna to go to preset one, preset two, just go to preset five, and I might jump back to preset three. 
Now, presets, presets can be somewhat useful um, by themselves sometimes uh, if you want to. You can actually set up PTZs to trigger to certain presets on motion. So for instance, if we had motion or an alarm event on a fixed camera, we can actually have the PTZ spin around and point at a particular preset, say one that's looking at a gate, for instance, if we've got a, an alarm on a gate, and we want the PTZ to swing around on alarm, then that's, that's a good thing we can do. However, other than that, by themselves, they're not particularly useful. So usually um, you'll then want to take those presets and put them into a tour. Now, as I described before, a tour is a combination of presets. So it's going to cycle through presets and then it's going to come back around and start again at the start of those presets again. So I'm going to switch back across now. So as with before, I'm going to click on the little cog icon down here. Now you'll see we had presets. We're actually going to go to tour now. So inside our tour, um, you can actually see that we've got add preset, delete preset and delete tour. Now to set your tour, it's actually this patrol section here. So I'm going to be setting up tour number one or patrol number one. And the first thing I think I'm going to want to set in here is actually preset two. Now I could start at preset one. I could start at preset five. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to go add preset. And then I'm going to go to preset. Well, actually what we'll probably do, we'll just delete the two at first just to make sure there's nothing in there. Then we'll go to preset two. And then we'll go preset three. And then we'll go to preset one. And then we're going to go to preset five. Okay. So now I've added those in there. You won't have seen anything come up on screen, but they have been added. So now I'm going to right click once and I'm going to select that tour. So one for that tour. And I'm going to then say start tour. There we go. Now we're actually going to rotate through our presets. Give it a little bit more time. You'll see it flip across to the next preset. There we go. Preset three. Now these are the order in which I added them. Okay. It's nothing to do with the number of preset. It's the order in which it was added. So I added two first and then I went to three. Then I went to one. Preset five. And there we go, back to preset two. Okay, so that's, that's basically how you set up um, presets and tours. What I might do, I'll just do one more tour just to show you how it's, how it's set up again, one more patrol. So again, I'm gonna click on PTZ and I'm gonna go tour. Now this time I'm going to leave number one intact and instead I'm gonna go number two now, in number two, I'm going to add preset number five first. Then I'm going to add presets number two. And then I'm going to add preset number five again. We can double up on these. I'm going to go preset number one. And then I'm going to go preset number five again. Okay, so now they're all added to patrol number two, or two and number two. So I'm going to right click again, and now instead of number one that I want to start, I want to start number two. So I'm going to click stop tour to start with, since we're already running a tour, and now I'm going to click start tour. So now we're going to do tour two. That's the first position. Now we're going to swing across to preset five. And we're going to go back to preset uh, one, I believe now, preset two, there you go. And then after this, we're going to go back to preset five. Oh, preset one was whatever I set it to before. <laughs> so, but anyway, you can see that we can start separate tours. We start different tours in here. Now we're back to preset five. So as I mentioned, it's, it's whatever order you added in, okay? So there's, you can add whatever presets you want to. I could have started at preset number 23 and gone to preset number one and then preset five. And it's nothing to do with the number of presets, the, like the number order of the presets, it's the order in which I added them.
within inside there. So um, I'll just switch back again. So you can see it's still, it's still actually running. Even if I right click out of here, it will run forever. Or until someone moves, moves the camera, at which point the preset will stop or the, the tool will stop. So the next thing, uh, now that we've dealt with tours and presets is patterns. Now patterns aren't used very often, but they can be kind of useful if, if you've got something in mind in particular, like a particular movement that you want to set up. Um, it's worth noting that you can't actually set zoom on patterns via the MVR. You can, however, do that when you're using the web interface of the PTZ camera itself. So that's why I was suggesting before it might be a, a better idea to do it that way. But we're gonna, we'll, we'll try out a pattern this way anyway. So I'll switch back again. Now you can see we're still in that preset. So I'm gonna right click, select PTZ, click the arrow. And now I'm gonna stop that tour that we we're doing before just so that we, it doesn't get in the way while I'm trying to show you the presets or the patterns rather. So I'm gonna click the cog icon again and now I'm gonna select pattern. Now again, Pattern numbers, this is the same as we had before. So we, had, we could have presets one through 99 or something like that, tours one through 99. In this case, I'm gonna select pattern number one and I'm going to click start. Now, this is, you can see up here, we're actually recording our pattern now. So it's going to mimic everything that I do. So I'm gonna to move to the right. I'm gonna to move to the left. I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna move across slightly. I'm going to move down, I'm going to move left again, right again, left again, and then up, and then to the right. And I'm going to click end. Now, what you can see there is we've, we've just recorded a pattern. Okay, so everything that I just did, when I play that back, it is going to follow. So I'm going to right click out of here. Now I'm going to select number one because we just recorded pattern number one and then I'm going to click pattern. And I'll right click just to jump out of here so you can see it. Now this is going to record, as I said, it's going to do exactly what we said. The amount of time that I hovered on particular spots, um, it's going to hover there for the same amount of time. So if I wanted to say, for instance, um, stop and sit over a door for, you know, 20 seconds, I would just move it, leave it sitting over the door for 20 seconds or as long as I wanted to and then I would move it back again. But as it is, it's going to run through this pattern all the way up to step 56, which is the number of steps that we re recorded. And then it's gonna jump back to step one. Like that. So yeah, there you go. Patterns are, patterns are just another, another way of doing um, I suppose the same sort of thing that you can do with tours, but it's a little more flexible. Like I said, it's not, not amazing doing it from an MDR since we can't adjust zoom level. But if you were to do this using uh, the IP address of the camera itself in, into Internet Explorer through the web interface, uh, that would be a lot more flexible. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, it's, it should, so what did we go through? We went through setting up presets, okay? on a PTZ camera, pan tilt zoom camera, we then went through tours. So we were adding our presets to our tours or our bookmarks, we we're putting our bookmarks inside our tour. And then we went over patterns. So as, as I mentioned, patterns are just an alternative so that we can um, more easily, um, more, more fine grain control, we can adjust exactly where we want the camera to go. Uh, with the exception of obviously via an MVR, when we're setting it up via an MVR, we can't set the zoom level. I uh, hope that's been helpful. If you've got any other questions about this video any, or any other video, please feel free to leave a comment below. Subscribe if you like these videos or if you're interested in any of the VIP Vision products. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more instructional videos like this. Um, hopefully you've gotten some something new out of it. And uh, thanks. It's been Jeff.